Hello and welcome back to Elite Just Fashion. So we've been doing an amazing work. We've just been following one factor to the other so that we could, you know, understand more about these things because we want to create all of the factors we're using for substitutability analysis. So from there, we're now going to actually perform the substitutability analysis. So I think this will be the last factor we're we'll considering. There are more with time. We're going to add more about for this session of this video we're going to end it after this and we're going to proceed right into the next thing that is required for us to do so today we're going to be looking at uh, distance to rivers all right so we're going to be looking at how to do that easily after you have your stream network i have a video that shows how to uh, create a stream from srtm all right so uh, i will put the link to that video on the description so you can also check that out if you want to uh, extract your stream networks and all that so let's get right into this video as we proceed with this all right so to after your stream network is available which we have it as river here i just call it river not that i say it's river all right so you go to catalog and then you go down to your toolbox so in your toolbox you go to a spatial analyst and you go to distance and we're going to be using inclinal distance, that'd be inclidian distance, distance, sorry, not to say English like that. So, all right, so uh, here we're going to our input raster of future source will be the rivers. And we're going to have a place where we're going to save it so we can I already created it, but I'm going to do it on this video. So I'm just going to say we use the the title of what we are creating to signify it now. So let's leave it like this. We know that this is what we created for this, right? So we're going to click on save. So every other thing you can leave them as optional and just click OK. But you see, it came out worse, right? Not to worry. We're going to recreate it. But this time we're going to show you how to do it better. So you go back to that same and you click double click on it so you click on river so we're going back and we're going to select this and we're going to name it one because you can have the same thing and it does not replace so this time around you're going to go to environment so your output Coordinate, we need to bring in something first. Or better still, we can use the river, but let's bring in the uh, shape file we have for the study area. So we have Kiko and we add it. And we set OK. So this is our study area. Uh, let's remove this and let's do it this way okay so um let me see this 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 river is here let's see what it's saying oh it's all the point all right so we're going to recreate it um like that so we'll click on it we bring in our river and click here and then we add one to it so that yeah once you've done that you go to environment then uh, you go down to sorry processing extent so you change it from default to same as Kigo so we move down move down to raster analysis 
and this marks you change this marks to Kigo. Are you okay? Then you click OK. So you see, it's created, it's perfectly, and it's rounded everywhere that has to do with the study area. So this is the best way of creating anything that has to do with this, and it will actually fill in the entirety of your your work, like your study area. So you see, we have a study. This is where it stopped. So imagine. I didn't, uh, if I want to extract this, if I want to, you see, it will only stop somewhere here. So it won't be a complete. Uh, uh, so whenever you're creating uh, anything that has to do with such things, uh, you try your best to include your study area to make sure it covers everywhere. All right, so I hope you have seen the difference between the first and the second. So it's your choice to choose which one is better for you. So that is that, and then we right click, and then we will maintain the color it has. We're not going to change the color. So we just reduce it from 10 to 5. And then we're going to make this 3. And in a sense, we're supposed to have a kind of a break point of number. But for now, let's leave it like this first, All right? So you see, this is what we have from the first, and this is what we have as a second. So I believe, I know all of you, you will definitely choose this one, right? All right, so just take a note of it. And this is basically what we want to do today. Um, we're going to have been able to do distance from river and all that. So I'll see you in the next video, but don't forget to subscribe like share and comment because the more we see our subscribers the more we see views it gives us that encouragement it's not easy to keep putting out content every day it involves research it involves you doing one thing or the other but if you see us put out video there is out of your encouragement because you don't want to do something put it and then you're not really seeing people really watching it the more you watch the more you gain something from it that's our reward. That's our encouragement. All right. So thank you very much for supporting Elite Joe Special. For this is our tenth year. Uh, we'll be celebrating anniversary very soon. So the channel has been there since 2017. Though I created the email 2013, but we started YouTube in 2017, August 27, and. Elijah Special have been there for 10 years. So thank you for being in that journey with us. So God bless you and I will see you in the next video.